Awesome. You Good. You doing okay, Zach? Good. Great. Great. We're going to go to David Lake at Inside the U. David, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach, I want to ask you about one of your teammates, Jalen Phillips. You know, how impressive is his athleticism um, and, and what are you expecting from him this year? I think the, one of the most impressive things about him, and I mean, me and him talk about this all the time, but he's just like crazy, relentless pursuit to the ball, you know, um, and it's every play, even in the scrimmage after the whistle blow, he's still sprinting, you know what I'm saying, getting the last little burst in, and it's just, it's crazy to see somebody that big just be able to do that consistently all throughout practice, all throughout the game. We all know how good of an athlete he is, but, you know, his, his, his effort is something else. Zach, we're going to go to Susan Miller-Degnan at the Miami Herald. Susan, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach. How you um, doing? Good. You're a, you're a senior now. Um, how do you expect this opener to feel different for you, you know? And uh, what do you envision it will be like with only 13,000 fans there? I mean, I don't expect it. I, I, I guess it will feel different just because I'm at a different position. But, you know, age-wise, Still a game, you know, it's still still a game that I love. I've been playing it for a long time. I don't expect anything to be different on that end. Um, but, you know, in, in, in respect to that whole 13,000 fans thing, that's not a problem. I mean, I played high school football, you know, so it's that's the least of my concern. And I have a follow for you, Zach. Um, I, I asked the Eric this, you, you supposedly got tested yesterday for COVID and will again tomorrow, I think in the day after the game. Um, is that kind of nerve wracking waiting for the results of everyone, not just yourself? Almost every day we see stories of games, you know, having to be postponed or canceled. It, it can be, you know, if you really let it bother you, but you just gotta, you know, take the steps and do all the things right, you know, be safe as possible, you know, wear your mask, Stay away from people as much as you can. Um, be clean. And, uh, you know, all that will take care of itself. Hopefully, if anything happens, then you know you did your best. Zach, we're going to go to David Ferrones at the Sun Sentinel. David, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach, I want to ask you about uh, Wayne and Steve. We see on the depth chart he's uh, second uh, behind you at weak side linebacker. Um, just the, the progress he's made, I mean, he, he really gone through it all, uh, two ACL injuries and, um, you know, the way he came after it this camp. Yeah, I got to commend anybody who has to go through anything close to that. You know, um, that's something that we don't see too often. I mean, I've seen it a couple times throughout my career, but it's, it's, it's something that's kind of hard to fight back from the first time. Um, so for him to have done it twice, uh, come in and compete in camp the way he has, you know, I'm extremely proud of him. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what, what this season has for him. Zach, we're going to go to Chris Stock at Inside the U. Chris, if you had a question for Zach. Yeah, Zach, the, the running game that UAB has, particularly with Spencer Brown and Stanley being a little bit bigger backs, um, maybe your impressions of, of them and maybe the challenges that that presents. I mean, both really talented guys. You know, I know they play hard. Um, especially if you just if you just take the time to really just watch them play, you know those are really two guys that'll give you as much trouble as anybody else, if not more. You know, so um, I know on defense we've been really focusing on uh, making sure to play as clean as possible, technique and everything as possible. It's an opening game for us, um, and you know tackling wins those games. So you have to, you know, play them like you got to give them the respect that they deserve. You know, and, and play them the way that they deserve to be played. Zach, I'm going to go to Tom D'Angelo at the Palm Beach Post. Tom, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach. Uh, Zach, Coach, you know, so many things um, a, a different coming into this, this season and things you have to prepare for. And Coach said one thing yesterday about how you guys weren't around each other as much as a normal year. And one thing is important is teams that stay connected would, help, would be in better position down the line. As a leader, how have you done that? How have you made sure your guys – you know, didn't didn't get away from the things they needed to be they needed to be around, and they did the right things. I mean, we all love each other on this team. You know, we're like the build group of brothers, and there's no hiding that. And even when we have to be separated, you know, spatially and things like that, we're everybody still you know calling each other up on the phone, checking in on each other's families and whatnot. You can't the connection is a connection. You can't really get rid of that. Um, so that for the most part really took care of itself. But in terms of like you know locker room and being around each other um, in that way, 
it's it's just doing everything as safe as possible, man, making sure to not get too comfortable to the point where we're forgetting that, you know, we got to have these on, um, got to be washing our hands consistently and all those types of things. Zach, I got two more for you. One is David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach. Uh, Bradley Jennings is another guy who yeah, obviously went through a lot injury-wise. Um, he's on top of the depth chart right now. Just we'll, we'll, how impressed are you by the way that he's been able to come back, and, and what do you think he did uh, in the preseason to, to kind of win that competitive uh, position battle? You know, I think um, being able to, you know, the leadership capabilities that he's shown, um, you know, we got to see a lot of that this offseason. Again, got to commend him for being, out, you know, as tough as he is. Him and Steve both battling all those injuries. That's, I mean, that's not that's not any small thing. That in itself is a huge achievement. So, um, but I just know him and anybody else, uh, the other linebackers that had anything to fight back from injury-wise, they all were just diligent, you know, stayed on top of their training um, and got in and did as, as much extra work with the weight coaches as possible and just stayed on top of their uh, therapy. Great. Zach, this is the last one. Matt Shodell from Cadesport. Matt, if you had a question for Zach. Yeah, hey, Zach. Um, I wanted to ask you, you know, you've been around the block a little bit, not to make, not to make you feel old. But, um, you know, you have a sense for how the linebacker striker situation was last year. Um, a lot of new faces this year. Do you have a sense going into game one? Um, will there be some sort of growing pains, do you think, for, for those three spots? Do you think it'll be at the same level, a higher level, ultimately? Sort of just talk about maybe your expectations for the overall linebacker striker unit. I expect us to be able to come out um, and play our assignments. I, I, you know, I'm, when I talk to the guys, I'm not telling anybody to go out there and be Superman and make every play. That's, that's not the game that we have to play right now. The defense is already designed for us to be able to make plays. We have playmaking linebackers at the University of Miami. That's that's going to happen. Um, but it, that happens when we play clean and don't jeopardize the integrity of the defense. So I think, um, you know, I expect to see just clean play. I expect to see good tackling. Um, there, there might be growing pains, and if those come, then we'll, we'll have them. We'll be prepared for anything that comes our way. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, say anything is out of the poss realm of possibility. Great. Zach, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today. I'm sure we'll be talking to you soon. Yes, sir. Have a good one.